Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. And um, before we get going, I'd really like to um, put some sentiments out there for Ukraine. Maybe you can donate some money or do whatever you can for a, a country that's really in need. And talking about something in need, um, as an ecologist, I'm involved in the biosphere and I hear this word sustainability all the time. And so I wanted to give a little talk about what sustainability really is from the ecological sense. And I'm going to read this from Latka, who wrote this in 1924. He talks about the world as a great world engine, which works in a cycle and carefully and thoroughly churns up all the energy gathered from the sun, spends all its work feeding itself and repairing itself, and there's nothing left over. But it accomplishes one remarkable thing. It improves itself as it goes along, if we think of that as evolution. And so with that, I'd like to throw out this concept that life is a process, it's not a thing. Um, what we have is this interaction in, in ecology, the feedback between living organisms, the environment, and natural selection, and that results in the evolutionary process, essentially through reproductive success. But it's a process, it's not a thing. And so you can think of the biosphere as a global evolutionary working process. And then we have another evolutionary work in process, which is humans. And I refer you to the Club of Rome um, for more on that. But we have this idea in ecology that ecosystems essentially absorb energy from the sun, as Latka said. They use all this energy up at all. Essentially, we take solar energy, turn it into chemical energy, turn that into biological work. And if we look at that a little more closely, we have this concept of gross primary production by a plant and when the plant carries out that respiration process, it needs a little bit of its own respirate, you know, its own photosynthesis for respiration. So you think of that as overhead. And what's left over is net. That's what's possibly useful. The same thing happens in ecological systems. If we go back to some of Vernadsky's early work and, and the work of many others, Vernadsky talked about this ubiquity and pressure of life that would allow it to fill into any available space. And, and we think of that. And then he also suggested that the mass of living matter would reach its maximum at the same time that biomimic, biogenic migration reaches its maximum. That's just his word for, for um, ecology. So the, the, the amount of productivity you can extract is actually here. It's the difference between net. So it turns out that almost every ecosystem on the planet is at a P to R ratio of one. I have to ask what about the biosphere? And as we move into how much productivity there is and how much is used by people, we have to ask how much are we taking? And by 19, by 2050, we may be taking 44% of this. And so when we think about sustainability, what about the earth? What about me? And so think in terms of the world as a process, not a resource, and all the parts are living for sustainability. They're all needed. So don't greenwash your seed corn. Thanks.